guys and girls, it's Airsoft Mike and I'm back again today to do yet another unboxing and this time it's the fantastic We or WE Tech Gas Blowback Big Bird Pistol. So let's get straight to it. Also known as the MMP because it's widely used by the military and police. This is a fantastic replica of it in Airsoft. Let's get the box open and let's see what we get. Let's get straight to it. This is the WE Tech Gas Blowback Big Bird. Absolutely loving the look of this gun. Here's the box. Let's get straight into it and see what we get. Okay, as always, WE Tech instruction manual. And here it is. What a fantastic looking piece. Groovy, groovy. Let's get to the accessories before we get to the gun itself. Straight away I can see you've got your standard mag there. As always, the gas goes in there. Should take around 24 or 25 rounds. You've also got a number of back straps. Now, let's talk about the back straps. You get three black back straps. Small, medium and large. Small and medium are in my hand. The large one is already installed on the piece. You also get three pink ones. Enough said about that. It'll be a cold day in hell before I ever put any of those on this gun. I like pink, but just not on my guns. <laughs> right. So let's get to the gun itself. What a nice looking piece. Let's just bring it right up to the lens so you can get a nice look of that. Cool looking design. Very tactical gun. I can definitely see this being one of my main sidearms along with my Glock. Let's just show you some of the features on this piece. There is something very cool about these green dot sights right here, which I'll show you in a couple of minutes, but there are your sights. Some people complain about these sights, saying that they don't really fully do what they're supposed to, but I beg to differ and I'll show you in a second. On the top there, you've got very realistic, cool 9mm mark in there. You've got your ambidextrous slide release. And the safety feature on this gun, if you can call it a safety feature, is integrated within the trigger itself. Now if I was to hold this gun and put my finger in fully and pull, the trigger will go back. But say your fingers are really small, because it really has to be small for you not to be able to do that. And say you only pulled back the top part, let me get this right, there you go, look, I'm pushing against the trigger, it's not moving. If I move my finger down a little bit and push it back, it goes back. Put it back up to the top again, it's not moving. It's an okay safety measure, but hey, apart from that, this gun is absolutely fantastic. Let's get the magazine in. Okay, nice weight to it. The top slide is made out of metal. The rest is some sort of polymer or ABS. I'll put it up on the screen exactly what it's made out of, but whatever it is, it's got a nice rubberized texture to it. I can even tell that through my gloves, even though I'm not touching it skin onto gun, I can feel that it's got a nice rubberized texture. Now, onto these sights. These sights are supposed to glow in the dark, okay? Now I've seen, I've read, and I've heard that they don't really glow. Well, I've seen another video where the guy properly charges these up by shining a light on them and then turning the lights out. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do next, and I'll show you how good these are. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shine a torch against this for about 30 seconds, then I'm gonna switch the lights out and you judge for yourself. So I'm going to cut the video here and I'll be straight back. Right, I'm back. I just spent the last few seconds shining some lights on these little green dots on the pistol. I'm now going to turn the lights out and you judge for yourself whether these dots are glowing or not. Okay, so lights out. 
I'm now bringing the pistol up to the camera lens and look at that. Absolutely fantastic. The only thing that's failing for a second here is the focusing on the camera. Other than that, these dots are perfect. So yeah, thumbs up from me as regards to these special green dots on the WE Gas Blowback Big Bird. Right, so I've removed the horrible sticker that was on the side of the gun. Uh, let's give you a bit more spec on this piece. It's got a built-in under rail for a tactical light or laser, which you can see here. Fantastic. And I can confirm that this, the bottom part of the gun is made out of polymer. It's got a machined metal slide with cocking serrations, which is right here, which makes it a lot easier to get hold of and pull the slide back. Fantastic. Now normally I'd use my thumb here to release it. In fact, I'll do it now. But it is ambidextrous, so if I pull it back, as I mentioned before, turn it around the other side, just in case you are left-handed, your thumb will then be on that side, but I'll just use my forefinger and it releases that side as well. Right, so shall we get this all chronoed and test it out? Yes, okay, so uh, I'll be straight back. Right, here we go. Fantastic kick, absolutely loving this piece. Yep, I didn't fill the mag to its capacity because I just wanted to show you quickly how good it shoots, I wanted to feel how good the kickback was, I wanted to show you how powerful it is and how satisfying it is when this slide locks back after the last round is spent. There you go, that was the WE Tech Semi-Auto Gas Blowback Big Bird. I'm Airsoft Mike and I approve this. Well, hang on, there's still another question to be answered. So, does the WE or WeTech Gas Blowback Big Bird deserve a space on my wall of airsoft? Um, well, of course it does. And then again, it doesn't. The reason being is, most of the time, this little baby will be my sidearm at skirmishes at airsoft events. Yes, it's a fantastic pistol. I love it. And I give it 9 out of 10.